Oh, I think it's working because now I have two people instead of just Deb. Oh, oh, five. We're multiplying. Oh, I was right in front of the door. <laughs> oh, Zucari really threw me off. Oh, yeah, I think it's working. Okay, great. Um, I do not have a stabilizer. That is your warning. This is a um, not a planned live. I tried to... Well, Lauren uh, Grant and I tried to give Zucari his birthday present that he, she spent so much time on and he completely hid from us and ignored it. But I do have a pineapple top that I was going to give to Des today. So I will give this to him. Say hi to everyone. Hello. Good morning. You would do this? Come here. Come here. Oh, he's in his den there. There we go. Hey, Des, come here. Come here. Everybody is being very lazy in their dens today. Hey, do you want a pineapple top? Come here. Oh God, get up, sir. But Lauren made Zucari a really, really cute sickle that um, had a seven on top and it was really big. She made it with different kinds of fish and it was completely ignored. Go see. Come on, Des. <laughs> Des, come on. Oh boy. We may have two failed attempts on our hands, but I figured maybe I would give Des something, give it a little time for Zucari to calm down about us being over there. Yeah, you smell it? Um, and maybe when I went back, he would be enjoying it. Fingers crossed. No. Everybody's being stubborn this morning. <laughs> His like nose is going, but that's. Hey you, how many are? What'd you get? Yeah, we're just gonna relax in her den. Oh, buddy. Like, I feel like that was a really good throw, too. Oh, we're just going to relax there. All right, so maybe we'll give him some space because we do have the cleaners around, too. So he might be a little suspicious. Ugh. So we'll just go say hi to all the servals on the row that are here. Hutch went on funcation yesterday, so he won't be on the row. Let's see here. Looking for Miss Cricket. Where is everybody? She's usually in this back section here. Oh, one moment. Oh, there she is. Hey, Lauren, would you be able to get the front gate for the whole prey guy? Yeah, love we'll you. Do we have live whole prey today? Yes, ma'am. Copy. There she is. she's like on the opposite side um just a little update on her since oh yeah the grass is so tall oh very good hiding who is cleaning middle uh cricket was recently inside um she wasn't feeling well so we thought a little bit of air conditioning would do her well 
and then we put her outside because she was doing fine. She is being fussy with her meds just because she knows they're there, um, but she's still eating well. Having a little morning bath after breakfast. And thank you guys for joining me this morning. We tried to give Zuccari and Des enrichment this morning and they were not cooperative, but I see Des over there now that I've walked away. So we will, we will see if we can catch him enjoying his pineapple top. And this is Afton from Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Let me see. There he is. Oh, busted. Busted. Yay, he came out. So it wasn't so bad on the failed attempt with Zuccari. At least Des came over for his pineapple top. Des is one of the <clears throat> cats that cannot... Oh, he's making all these little moaning noises, which is really cute. Um, one of the cats that cannot have paper because he consumes it. So if cats consume paper, they don't get that type of enrichment, but we try to come up with some more creative ways of enriching them because enrichment is extremely important in the lives of all captive animals to keep their minds and their bodies um, active and stimulated. And so pineapple tops is one of the favorites of the servals that can't have paper. And because this was my pineapple, um, he is actually licking the fruit part and rubbing on it. But that is a really good pineapple, so I'm not sure what he tastes. Oh, he's <laughs> very drooly. <laughs> there, get a little zoom in. Good morning, everyone. Oh yeah, he loves it. I wish you could hear his little nom nom noises. And Des <laughs> is a male serval, African serval. He only has three legs. And he was found that way, um, just abandoned in the Arizona desert. Oh boy. Oh boy, so many noises. <laughs> Can somebody open the light gate? Oh, we're gonna face the opposite way now. Yeah, it's okay. I'm glad you love it. I had him in mind specifically for the pineapple top when I cut it off. Is it good? Oh, I am finally seeing comments for the first time. I would be very surprised if these are the first comments. Oh, 
was a good staff. <laughs> Does you love it? Oh, back in the den. Here come the keepers. And as you can see, then, like I was saying, he has only three legs, but he gets around just fine. He's really good at catching snakes, so. I don't think the missing leg slows him down any. All right, let's go see if Zuccari took a liking to his sickle. Oh, I'm on like mega zoom. There we go. The keepers, he was very unimpressed with. <laughs> um, all right, bear with me. Um, you didn't hear I do not have a stabilizer this was kind of a unexpected live all right let's see if Sukari ended up coming out or at least I can show you his beautiful sickle if it's still standing. It's not as hot this morning as it has been. What are you doing in here? Oh, it collapsed. So if you can see there, right there in the middle, that is a heart-shaped sickle that had the number seven standing up on it that has now melted down and to a very fishy pile. And here's birthday boy hiding in the den from it. Dukari, what in the world, buddy? Oh, goodness. Oh, so I just did that. I swiped and then swiped back over and the comments showed back up, which is good to see because it's very weird um, not seeing them because I know you're doing them. <laughs> but I know Facebook has gone under a lot of changes this week and I think we are all trying to adjust. And this is him very unimpressed. With his beautiful sickle that she worked so hard on. Oh, buddy. You better go over there and get that before all of it melts, sir. Ugh. All right, I guess while I have you here, I don't know if I'll be able to see Nala. Her back section's pretty overgrown right now, which she loves because she likes to hide from everybody in the grasses. But it makes it hard to find a serval in all of that. But I have stuff to do in my office, but I will take you along the way and we can stop if we see any cats along the way and then I will have to hop off and get to work. Okay. Let's see if there's anybody along the way. This whole commenting thing is so weird. I'm having to readjust just so I can see what you guys are saying. So I apologize if I've missed any questions that you may have had. 
um, or comments that needed to be addressed because I just don't see them all the time. I keep trying to s swipe so I can see them. Oh, big girl. Miss Kalee, hang on, honey, I come in. <laughs> Hi, honey. This is Kalee. She as well turned 22 Aww. this month. Hi, hon. Tell everybody hello. Such a good girl. Hi, sweetheart. Oh boy, so in interesting, never a dull moment situation here. You want to lay down with me? Hi, sweetie. Is I had to come in the middle of the night last night and lock up all the open air cats. I was at home and I noticed at my house it was intense, very, very windy. The trees were going crazy. Things on my um, back porch were blowing everywhere. And so I called Gail, who used to be uh, one of our operations managers, and asked her how it was going here. And after looking into the weather, um, I, I thought it would be best to come in and put all the open air cats into the roof section. So Kali is one of those cats. And they thought it was so interesting having a nighttime visitor. Um, I, I did not feel the same since I was finding them via flashlight. But I just wanted to assure that they were going to be safe and that I could get sleep at night not worrying if the storm was going to come back or another cell was going to come through. Hi, honey. Yeah. But taking care of big cats is a round the clock job. You never know. I just was so scared when I saw the trees at my house, what may have been going on here. The cat I worry about the most is uh, Priya, just because she's got a lot of old trees, oh my goodness, old trees in her open air section that I would hate to fall. So knowing that she was secure in her roof section got me some good sleep last night. But everybody has full access now. I walked around every single open air just to make sure everything was all right. And everybody was let out this morning. I would rather be safe than sorry. It is not worth the risk. I think he just figured out I was here. Hey, hey, Simba. Don't do that, honey. Um, oh, so he's acting this way because we're not that great of friends. Um, no, Kali is not declawed. She has all her claws. I can see your comments again. <laughs> but I, I picked up one of our level five interns. Um, I don't find it be the safest to be here at night by myself. So I picked up um, a level five and we, um, we did it together. I came not in my car, but I have, I brought my truck instead. All right, I don't like to encourage this behavior, so I'm going to slowly give him his space. He gets a little rowdy when I'm around. He'll even roar at me. It's sad. <laughs> All right, let's go see some more while I head to my office. I'm surprised that uh, I'm not doing too awful without the stabilizer. 
and I've had coffee this morning. <laughs> He's probably going to follow me. Yep. <laughs> Yep, he's going to follow me all the way if he can. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, hey, hey. So, like I said, he likes to roar at me. Go slow when I go by him. And I don't antagonize that behavior. I don't encourage it either. Um, I asked, why don't they get the whole pineapple? I did see that question. Um, because I wanted to eat the rest. <laughs> it was mine from my house. And that's typically how we get our pineapple tops is because our keepers, um, will buy them for their own consumption. And because we can't eat the tops, we might as well bring it in for these guys. We have before, and there's a video on our YouTube channel where they have gotten actual whole pieces of pineapple um, or even our um, Siberian lynx we used to have, Apollo, he would um, enjoy a whole pineapple. Hi, hey, this is Jasmine, relaxing. Oh yeah, girl. Much different reaction than the last tiger. <laughs> Oh, who wrote it Afton? It was Simba. Breaks my heart every time. Hi, sweetheart. I'm trying to keep swiping so I can see your actual comments. You're very relaxed. I saw, I just saw someone call her jazzy pants. And for some reason, when I read that, all I could imagine was the rest of her fur shaved, except for the, the back portion. And those would be her pants. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just the first thing that popped in my mind when I saw it. Yeah, it's very surprising that, oh boy, you getting silly. It's very surprising Simba does that when Simba and the other Guatemalan tigers, Kimba and Max, first got here. Um, there was only two of us, and one of us was myself, that cared for them for like the first few months. But I don't know if he just associates me with food and it gets them all amped up. I don't know. It's sad. I, I at least do get chuffs from him, and I try to get one a day. It's like my daily goal as well as I get chuffs from Kimba. Always try to get a chuff from Kimba. Do the cats always come when you call them in? <clears throat> no. <laughs> um cats are cats and sometimes I say man I, I should have got into the business with dogs at least they listen better um cats can be pretty stubborn like last night we tried to get Aria into the roof section of vacation and she was not having it so after we had taken care of reconnect oh I grabbed a food bucket and some tongs and we played a little I call them um drums but we clicked our tongs and kind of banged on the bucket and she showed up. I'm looking for Kimba, see if we can let us say hi. Maybe I'll take a quick turn around at Manny and then I have got to go to the office. Oh, there he is. Is Kimba becoming a little more social? It depends on who you are. 
He has certain people he's very comfortable with. Kimba's not my problem. It's just Simba. I get a hiss from Kimba every once in a while, but I do get a chuff every day. Hi. And he's relaxing too. I don't want to get too close because I don't want to bother him either. He's very content. That's okay. But he doesn't seem bothered by my presence. Surprising enough, one thing that Kimba does like is um, he likes getting showers with the hose. He only gets mad when you stop. Oh, Chris, you're welcome. It was kind of like an impromptu live. I thought it'd be fun to watch Zukari get his birthday present. And since Brittany isn't here on Fridays, I wanted to feature him getting that. And then he just had other ideas. Good boy. Such a good boy. Uh, Jennifer, I would say he's the largest of the three. Because he's really young, he's still like in his like prime years, so he's a pretty solid boy. and I too pretty well. Hey, I think he's such a three. <sighs> Switching. Go ahead. So we have a library here and the new ones that they brought us are feet and testing and they're smaller than our teenager rats. Well ours don't have their testing out. Should we separate them? Repeat that one more time. So the new boys that are coming in for like the live rats, all of them are smaller than our previous teenagers, but all of them have their testes already and ours don't. I would keep them separate from the teenagers. All right, we will separate them. Thank you. Sorry about that. <laughs> Always on duty. That was probably slightly National Geographic as we were talking about <clears throat> genders of our live prey for rehabs. <laughs> so, at least she used correct terminology. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can spot Manny. Because he's always a crowd favorite. I'm parking the shade. <coughs> All right. Let's see if we can find him. Her president's birthday. She does have a fundraiser. Okay, let me, let me start over. I lost connection there for a moment. Um, if any of you are able to donate, <laughs> we are celebrating our president's birthday and um, we do have a, a fundraiser on our page. Ooh, there he is. Hi, Manny. Manny was recently put outside last week. Oh, yeah. Like, show me him stiffers. He show me him stiffers. He had a bowel obstruction, so we had to uh, <laughs> we had to open him up and uh, remove the blockage. And he spent um, two weeks. <laughs> he spent two weeks um, in our recovery outdoor enclosure. 
It's a, our only cement floored enclosure we have to keep his incision off the dirt. Hi, big man. You show me him, Stevers. But he's doing really well. He's um, making normal bowel movements. He's eating good. He is not currently getting bones um, right now, but he will go back to his regular diet. Um, I have him off bones until the 21st. And he also does not have access to his pool sections until that time as well, just to see how he does outside. His little teeth displaying thing is something that he always does. I don't find it to be uh, aggressive, because if it was, he has no problem charging this little window at me if he wanted to. I think it's, I think it's more of a social thing. I love that someone's calling them Manny Kisses. Yes, I will, I will take them as kisses because I'm getting a lot of them. Huh, I'm getting a lot of them. When he was in recovery, what was really cute is he, if you stood there long enough, he would roll onto his back and show you his belly, which was perfect for me trying to see what his incision looked like to make sure he wasn't messing with it. Um, I know what his leave me alone looks like, and that's when he sharpens his teeth on the side of the cage. He tends to do the, the air bites socially. What is this? Oh, it's a broken clip. Okay. Oh, that's like a horrible dead zone. All right. I will I swear I have things I gotta do. <laughs> But I would love to share there we go, Mouser with you and Cyrus since we moved him yesterday. And Cyrus is still pretty nervous. Um, but he's eating fine and he's just getting used to the fact that golf carts can go by his enclosure now. And people are always around and I'm sure once he settles in, he's just going to love it. Um, just to stop to say hello to Mr. Filmo on his amazing platform situation that he has. I think that he really likes his new enclosure this over this way. He loves his neighbor's smalls and he's always out before he hit a lot. Um, you didn't see him very often. And now he's always out, which is, which is very nice to see. He's a very cute boy and he shouldn't live his life being nervous. Okay, moving on. And here's Fimo's little girlfriend, Smalls, who also has a really awesome platform. And there she is at the very top. Very cute. Relaxing. Everybody's relaxing after breakfast. No, oh, pretty girl. Everybody's just chilling. Which I like to see everybody relaxed. You know they're being properly taken care of when they don't seem to be stressed out. Relaxing, even with the keepers around. There's Nabisco right there. surprised he's not trying to come after the golf cart wheels. <laughs> All right, 
gonna make our first stop. I've actually been off um, for just a little under a week. And I, he just loves his new space. He loves his new space, which makes my heart extremely happy because it was a lot of hard work. <laughs> I haven't um, built a cage around here since I was probably a red and yellow shirt. So it was a, it was a lot of work, but so worth it. Especially, oh, he's on his platform. Hi, baby. Hi. He's a baby. I know. Can't get a good shot because you just want to be right here with mama. Um, Sue, you're asking about private tours. Um, we are offering private tours for our 500 plus donors. And that gets you two guests. So you and somebody else. How you doing, kiddo? Nancy. Oh. Ah, <laughs> right, honey. Meow. Well, you probably heard me call refer to myself as his mama. Uh, this is my boy. Yeah, and I feed him about nine times a week. He gets an AM and PM meal because he doesn't eat a whole lot in one sitting. And he needs company. He does not eat well unless he has company. And because our keepers are so busy, um, I had taken it upon myself to make sure that he has company and it's me. So I sit with him until he finishes his breakfast, until he finishes his dinner. And I'm so happy to do so because I think he appreciates my company. And then this is the portion here that is new to him. Um, well, the whole enclosure is. The enclosure on the left part, this section was already here. So we built this portion onto that. He has to have a uh, two by four because of he's a little tiny boy. And so this section is all new and installed a new feeding lock out here. He's watching the bees. He likes to bat at the bees. He's probably going to follow me this whole time. Um, the platform wasn't newly built. I actually took it out of the space he was previously in. And then, um, and that would have been the low portion you see here and the big one in the back here. The medium size one is in a, another previous enclosure he used to be in that is currently empty. But I wanted to give him a lot of options and a lot of levels. He um, takes pain management for having bad knees, so I wanted to make sure that he could easily get up there. And then, this is a little home tour. <laughs> Add a little den in here, even though he has one in the back and put a cooler room in the back section. Had to install the door you see here. And I just pulled them off of empty enclosures. Hi, hon. He's, he's definitely still following me around. And then I had to build a new safety entrance, which is here on this corner. It's gotta be big enough to be able to um, get him in a carrier or a squeeze cage with people to carry and safely enter without him in that space. And then this was the previous section that was already here. But I think he just absolutely loves it and that makes me happy because a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into this. And when I say blood, definitely I <laughs> scratched myself with the wire quite a few times. Yeah, my love. My love, yes. I could spend all day here, to be quite honest. 
I still had work to do once I moved him here, so it was great to spend a half a day just finishing up the work I had to do and kind of cleaning up after my, what I was calling a construction site. Um, and I had to uh, cut away the excess of his roof. So it was, it was fun to be able to do that with him here. Yeah, Mouser and uh, three bobcats we went and picked up from California and I have never in my life done a cross country trip, but we flew to California, um, got the cats, rented a van and drove back. It was four women and four cats in a van together. It was very, very interesting, <laughs> but fun nonetheless. Oh, can't see very well, but that's his neighbor, Ariel. And I was happy that Ariel is his neighbor because Mouser is a very paranoid cat and he seems to be pretty much scared of everything, but not his quiet new neighbor. Ah, okay, tell everybody, thank you for joining. <laughs> Say thank you for joining. Um, does he ever spray me? It's been a really long time. Um, he has sprayed me twice though. Once I, I had looked away and when I looked back, he was just soaking my sweatshirt, <laughs> soaking my sweatshirt. All right, buddy, I'll see you for dinner, okay? I see you for dinners. And I'm pretty sure we can't leave this area okay. without seeing summer. I'm, sh I'm sure you would all love that. So, uh, Mouser has this empty cage um, next to him, but then next to that is Summer, and I tell Deb all the time, I'm pretty sure if you pay attention to her camera and you hear me confessing my love, it is me talking to Mouser because uh, this camera picks up pretty good audio. Oh, there she is. Oh, Summer girl. All right, let me zoom, zoom, zoom. If it'll let me. I can't get it. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, sorry. There she is. Summer girl. Tail's always moving. And Summer has a live camera. You can watch it live on our YouTube channel. Oh my goodness. If you can hear the meowing in the background. It's Mouser. He knows I'm still here. Can you guys hear that? Hi, Sharon. <laughs> Mouse are still meowing. All the keepers tell me that it's him going, Hey mom, 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 hey mom, mom. <laughs> uh, if I am anywhere near and he knows it, I just get hollered at the whole time. But while I was um, feeding Mouser this morning after Summer had her breakfast, uh, she was actually um, doing her calls which was very cute. I could hear them over at Mouser. Hi, Leslie. Just in time for summer, like as in the cat. The never ending moving tail. A lot of personality in that tail. <laughs> okay. And then our last stop, we will go check in with Cyrus. Oh, let me unzoom you. There we go. I uh, fed him his breakfast for dinner yesterday so I could give him some time to acclimate to his new enclosure. And he was still very nervous, but gladly took the food. 
And if Brittany has ever said what a wild man he is for operant, it was probably the sweetest operant session I've had in a long time with any of our cats because I think he was just so unsure, but it was kind of a delight to be the person that he was uh, not so crazy for the this, this operant stick. But he was really, really chatty last night with his little trill. I find it to be the cutest vocalization of all the cats here. And just in case some of you didn't see yesterday when we were moving cats, we had Aria and Hutch go on vacation and funcation. There's a live camera on explore.org or you can go to Big Cat. Uh, cams.com and see them but we moved Cyrus to a new area of the property um, since he does love the keepers he was kind of tucked away so he was moved to the the lakeside um, enclosure that is equipped for small cats and so this is his view here which is pretty nice um, he's just kind of getting used to golf carts going by and people being around but i think once he settles in he'll do great i don't know where he likes to hang out here oh i found him oh i don't know if we'll be able to see um that's such a glare oh yeah you can see his little face there hi to cyrus I'm trying to like get it where that like grass isn't in the way there. There we go. There's a Cyrus face. Hanging out in his den. But I'll take hanging out in his den over pacing and looking stressed any day. He was a little pacey yesterday because he was just unsure. But I know he's just going to love it. And Cyrus is a caracal. Super, super neat species of cat. They have really long ear tufts, um, black ears, which caracal is Turkish for black ears. Great jumpers. We just had um, his rescue. He also came along with a female named Chaos. Oh, good boy. And um, Chaos had a little too much fun with a squirrel. And her jumping got her into trouble because she broke her toe. But she's doing well. She is back outside. She has limited area. But it was good getting her out of the hospital because she was pretty miserable in there. She's not the friendliest of cats. Yeah, Christina, he does have waterfalls. Ugh. Hi, Karen. But this rock den is actually the den he's in. Has a has a fountain that comes out in a pool. He's got this little little river area with some waterfalls. that stream out, go under the ground, and then filter out to the lake. All right, well that is going to conclude my little tour, I feel. Maybe we can see, um, no, Chaos is still in her same enclosure, which is kind of now in the opposite side of the sanctuary um i don't think either one of them mind especially chaos she uh yes beecher did used to be in that enclosure but uh chaos doesn't really seem to care for cyrus and i think cyrus will be will be fine without her little hissy pants and duchess came back home yesterday um, her and Priya, she's in the, in that den right there. Her and Priya got home makeovers and their enclosures were painted. 
But as you can see, we choose that color of paint. It's a rusty color, but it's actually painted with a Rust-Oleum paint to prevent rusting. I know in the past, a lot of judgmental people said that we had rusty enclosures, but no, we purposefully paint them this color um, because you can, you can see very well through and it kind of camouflages the, the cage wire. This is Duchess. Says, I just came home yesterday. Oh, she gonna relax. Everybody's relaxing. These are just bonus cats because my lunch is in my car and I need to go get it and take it to the office. Relaxing. Thanks for everyone for joining me. This was longer than I had anticipated, but that's okay. Never hurts to take a little time to say hi to everyone. I don't know if Pri is in here. Nope. I don't see Miss Priya. But her enclosure also got freshly painted. It's very nice looking. Manny, a portion of his enclosure was also painted. So our volunteers and interns have been really, really working hard in the past month. Just want to keep everything looking nice and up to par for the cats. I'm just going to see if Miss Priya is in this den because she wasn't in that one, but she typically is. Oh, she is. Yeah, I see her. Oh, I just see big paws. Let me see. Here we go. And this is Miss Priya. Thanks everyone for joining me today. It has been fun. We'll sign off with Priya relaxing. I hope everybody has a wonderful day, night, whatever time it is there. We're still able to say good morning here. <laughs> but I appreciate you um, joining me. For all of you that have shared, thank you. If you're capable of sharing, I'm not sure. I know Facebook has been very weird. Okay. And if any of you would like to donate, um, there is a fundraiser going on for our president Jamie's birthday. Um, you could add it to that. We have a goal. I'm not sure if we've hit it yet, but Deb would know that. But by donating there, if you can, um, any amount helps, and it's just a way of showing Jamie how much we appreciate her, too. And I'll go ahead and unzoom on Priya to show you the space she has, because she has got a really cool enclosure. Very natural. About an acre to an acre and a half that she has all to herself. Alrighty, I've made it to my car, so I'm gonna grab my lunch and head to the office. I will spin around, you can see my face. I just wanna say thank you guys for joining me. Afton from Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida, and we'll see you next time.